city of Atlanta will pay a family nearly $4 million to settle a police claim. Ricky Dorado died after a police action left him pinned face and chest down for at least 16 minutes. And the man had already been handcuffed according to multiple sources who spoke to us. Fox News Morris Diggs has this exclusive story here, all new at 5. Now, the Atlanta city attorney will not allow city officials to talk about what led to this multi-million dollar settlement. So we asked a retired law enforcement trainer to help us look at the case of Ricky Dorado. Ricky Dorado is heard telling Atlanta police officers a half dozen times on body cam footage that he could not breathe as the arresting officers had him pinned face down. That is according to sources familiar with the case. The encounter ended with the 32-year-old man's death. The August 2022 incident started near downtown Atlanta. Duraldo, according to an Atlanta police report, started harassing motorists, banging on vehicles. He attempted to remove wiper blades. The strange behavior was not from road rage, but a mental episode complicated by drug use, according to sources familiar with the pedestrian. We're living in a time where the average call for service is involving persons with mental illness or substance abuse. So we have to come in with a whole different readiness mindset to deal with whatever is going to happen uh, with that suspect and get them under control. Charles Rambo is not with the Atlanta Department. He is a retired law enforcement trainer. We asked him about Duraldo, who ran into a gas station when police arrived and locked himself in a bathroom. Atlanta officers got him out, but neither tasing nor pepper spray stopped him. Eventually, several officers got him out, got him onto the ground, and applied pressure to keep him down. That is not uncommon. It gives the officers the necessary amount of manpower to bring the person under control. Fox 5 asked Mr. Rambo to take part in a simulation reflecting what city leaders were told in a recent briefing. An officer pressed on the suspect's head. Others were either trying to cuff him or hold his legs down. The pin down went on for at least 16 minutes and well beyond the time Duraldo had been handcuffed, according to multiple sources. You got to get the person up off of their chest so they will be able to breathe adequately. In the police summary, it states, after minutes of no fighting, Mr. Duraldo was uncuffed and turned over on his back to be administered Narcan and chest compressions until EMS arrived. Lawyers for the Duraldo family told Fox 5, the misconduct of several police officers employed by the city resulted in Ricky's untimely death. He was unarmed, and his death was completely preventable. A council panel approved this multi-million dollar settlement unanimously. It still must go to the full city council, but that will be a mere formality. From downtown Atlanta, I'm Morris Diggs, Fox 5 News.